Polish-born Jew Arthur Schick was a renowned graphic artist and political cartoonist. His most important work is an illustrated Passover Haggadah, which was published in 1940. Now, for the very first time in 60 years, all of the original illustrations from the book are on display together here at the Contemporary Jewish Museum in San Francisco. They are tiny gems of watercolor and gouache, painted by the activist hands of Arthur Schick in the 1930s. 48 leaves of a Haggadah, the ritual text read during the Passover Seder that tells of the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. Beyond the layers of paint are layers of meaning, a political message about the survival of the Jewish people. Irvin Ungar is curator of the Arthur Schick Society and leads tours of the exhibition. This man was a hater of hate, but he was also a man who could laugh and tell stories and joke and play the piano and sing and entertain and be the center of a party, and yet he was a man who was deadly serious about, about his role in the world and what he had to say about injustice. Schick's mantra was that art was not his aim, but his means. Between World Wars I and II, he'd witnessed cruel pogroms against European Jews. His colorful Haggadah draws parallels between the Israelites' plight in Egypt and the burgeoning threat of Nazism. Many of the characters in the Haggadah, the Egyptians look like Eastern Europeans, Schick's contemporaries, and then there, were, there are subtle references directly to Nazism and to Hitler. In one of the pages of The Four Sons, the wicked son, has a Hitler mustache and is seen as a wicked German. There's also evidence that early proofs included swastika motifs, but under presumed political pressure, Schick removed them from the final work. With the help of Polish funders, 250 copies of his Haggadah were published in London in 1940, dedicated to King George VI. Schick's Haggadah came to the Bay Area eight years ago, when the pages were acquired by a local family who kept them in a pristine condition. Lily Siegel says the universal style of the work engages viewers in a timeless way. She particularly likes an early page of the family at Seder. The front seat at the edge of the page is left empty but set, and so it can either be for the viewer to be participating in the Seder or for Elijah, but it really, Schick has a way of drawing the viewer and the participant into his story as well as reminding everyone that in every time in history we must be aware of our strength and also of our enemies. Ungar says this Haggadah has a place amongst the greatest works of Jewish art. It's about standing up, it's about heroism, it's about taking history and moving it from one place in time to another place in time in order to tell a story about the redemption and the longevity and the survival of Jewish people. And there's nothing like it. And that's why I see this as a crown jewel of our people. The exhibition also contains a diverse range of other Haggadot, old and new. The Sheikh Haggadah is on display at the Contemporary Jewish Museum in all of its decorative glory until the end of June. Rebecca Bowring, JN1, San Francisco.